Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Colin B here. We are playing some Prison Architect today. Welcome, welcome back. If you guys missed all the last couple episodes or anything, make sure to go check them out. The link's in the description to the previous ones to the playlist. You guys can go check them out and see how we got to our awesome prison over here already. Uh, but anyway, oh, and look at this, guys. There are Polaroids. Oh, look at them. They're all chilling. That's so cool, man. I really like the Polaroid thing. That's really cool. Playing pool, they're chilling, watching TV. Um, oh my gosh, and there's another one, guys. <laughs> Look at that. A little maintenance crew, the janitors mopping up. That is pretty awesome. We're going to try to find as many Polaroid things as we can. Wow, this cell looks disgusting. What are you doing, Henderson? You're just puking everywhere? Drugs. He wants drugs, guys. Oh man, that is ridiculous. Alright, so well, last episode we finished off with our laundry and our cupboard. We also built a chapel over here, which is pretty awesome. We have a classroom going on, which is really, really fabulous. Let's check out our bureaucracy. Oh, our micromanagement was approved. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Do we need do we need this guy? I'm like a lawyer. Huh, small cells. He lets us do really tiny cells. I don't really care about that though right now. Wow, all of this stuff is really expensive um, for this. Legal defense, $50,000. Wow, all right. Um, death row though, we can actually put people on death row and execute them. That is gonna be way down the road though, guys. Oh, let's unlock clone. We wanna unlock clone. That is gonna be fabulous. I'll explain that a little bit later. Our tax relief is coming up. Oh, intelligence. We want to unlock that also. Awesome. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're doing good with that. Okay, so what we got going on over here is we have to have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course. And how we'd go ahead and do this is we need to make them go to class during these work hours and during these work hours. So... Basically, go to programs, and we're now able to edit our schedule because we unlocked the, um, the, what was it called? I'm going to show you what it was called. Micromanagement. We unlocked the micromanagement thing. So, we can make them go into two different things. So, watch. If I go to reschedule. Oh wait, let's go to edit. Edit our scheduler. So, it, the green shows you the exact times that they actually have work time. So, right here... They have the classroom has foundation education going on there and we want to have another foundation education as you can see it here I'll show you right here I can pick general education too because we need that also if I move that over look at 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course so we need foundation and then I have one prisoner pass general we don't want the general one open yet, though, because nobody is going to attend it because nobody has passed the foundation one yet. So they need to pass the foundation one. So we might as well just have our classroom just pumping out the foundation education um, one instead of the general. So I don't know if that made sense. I hope it did. But look, at we can have behavioral, behavioral therapy. Um, do we need that yet? I don't think so. How about kitchen? Kitchen safety and hygiene. We can add that. Um, people can start getting ready to go to work in the kitchen for us. Um, the pharmacy stuff. Let's do the pharmacy. Let's move the pharmacy down to here. Pharmacy C, the kitchen slot, 8 o'clock, then pharmacy at 10. We'll do another pharmacy one right there. Should we do, yeah, let's do spiritual guide. No, we can only we only need one spiritual guidance. That's fine. All right, so over here we can do workshop safety. I don't have a workshop yet, um, so I don't need that yet. Whoops, did I just screw that? No, I didn't. Okay, everything else is zero. Zero alcoholics. That is so crazy. Zero behavioral um, problems. That is crazy. Okay, we don't need that yet. Let's go ahead and... Oh, this is active right now. Foundation class. Is the class active right now? 
And what time is it? It is almost 6 p.m. And what is the regime? Oh, 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 it's gonna be over in two seconds. So never mind. It's not going on yet. All right. Uh, let's speed up a little bit. And actually, let's do it like that. So everybody's on the eating schedule right now. And then they go to free time and then shower and sleep. Okay, perfect. That is fabulous. This is going to be a while until 10 people pass that class. Let's see how many people were interested in it, actually. So, kitchen. Two people are interested in the kitchen. Not a lot. Actually, let's go edit the schedule again. Let's take this kitchen off. Just so people don't go to the kitchen one instead. Um, and foundation. There was... Okay, so these little black things are actual people that are in the class. Um... Oh, kitchen only has two. Oh, I get it. We're going to have to fix the kitchen, guys. We have to add more cookers to have more people be able to uh, take the class. All right, foundation. We have five people in it already, and then one more is interested. So he'll join up, I'm sure. Not a big deal. Three in queue. The pharma uh, pharmacy one, or the, inf the infirmary one. We have four beds, so that's good. They can all do that. So this needs more cookers. I believe let's go ahead and get a couple more cookers going on here we can add let's just add four that's good four cookers that's fine uh, four cookers how about some more fridges though it looks like the fridges are kind of packed we can add some more of those and now we need to use our utilities and connect it up so let's connect it uh, this can be connected to there and then there. I think that's going to be connected like that. That'll be fine. Sweet, sweet. All right. Um, so we need to assign three prisoners to work in the laundry, assign three prisoners to work in the kitchen, and assign three to work in the cleaning cupboard. We can do that. I think, I think we unlocked that, right? Prison labor approved. Yes, we did. So let's go to our deployment screen, guys. I haven't even showed you this yet. So deployments... So as you can see, everything is like sectioned off in different sections and we can deploy different things going on here. So what we're going to do is first thing, I want to deploy a couple guards around. So let's deploy one guard patrolling this all this whole cell block area everywhere that has like zigzag lines. That's where that guard's going to patrol. And as you can see, it put one guard thing right here. And that is the guard patrolling it. It's, it's connected right there. So I want one guard patrolling this whole thing. Yeah, I know. And it's going to come patrol all this area that we don't need it to. But whatever. Um, we need to section it off with doors is what we need to do. Let's have one guard patrol the canteen at all times. So there, that guard's coming over there. You see him running over there. Sweet. And then we can have one guard patrol the yard. I think that's a good idea. All right, so we have three guards patrolling. Not too bad. And then we have two guards kind of doing whatever. Because we have five guards total. So pretty, pretty good. We can make places staff only, which is definitely what we're going to do. So we're going to do staff only this hallway over here for to get to the offices. And all the offices over here except the psychologist. Because prisoners need to be able to go to the psychologist to go to their classroom. Um, so we're going to make this all staff only here. Plus the staff room. Staff only. Plus storage. Uh, not kitchen because I want to let prisoners go there and work in the kitchen. And work in all these other areas. So we're, we're okay for now. Maybe staff only over here? No, no, no. That'll be fine. Um, Alright, so visitation. Staff only. Huh. No, I think we're I think we're okay. I think we're okay. All right, we're okay with staff only. Everything else is okay, and then we can always we can always section off like the areas of our of our um, prison with like minimum security, medium, and then maximum. That's kind of cool to do, but we don't need to do that right now. All right, so this classroom's good. It's 10:30 at night. Man, I'm I'm sick of that flashing in my face. So might as well. Do some electricity here. Let's bring it up. Huh. Let's bring it up right here. That'll be fine. There we go. 
I think that should that should make all of this be totally fine for a long time. Are these why are these all dark? That's weird. It's just weird that these walls are darker in here, you know what I mean? Um, interesting. So what we what we could do is let's wall off this area. Because that'll make it so the um our guard doesn't go patrol this area. Because we don't need that area patrolled yet. And we don't we have this closed off here. What I kinda wanna do is Hmm. I really we have like no money right now, guys, so we have to be closely paying attention to our money here. Oh, you know what? Let's get let's get these people working. We can get this ten thousand dollars right now. So deployment. Oh wait, no. Logistics. Yes. This is our, our prison labor. So we're on our prison labor here and we can hire people here. So qualified prisoners for our kitchen is basically zero right now. But our max jobs for our laundry and our cleaning cupboard is three each. Man, what we really need. Oh, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. Let's hire them. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Ten thousand bucks. Yeah, baby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them away from the kitchen though right now. I don't want them there. And I can have them in the laundry. That's fine. I'll have them in the laundry in the cupboard. I want to take them away from the kitchen because the prisoners can steal a bunch of stuff from the kitchen and bring it out. And that'll be no good. Especially stuff to be able to tunnel out of their cells. Like spoons and, and man, just different things. Hacksaws and there's just different crap in the kitchen that they can steal. Which I definitely don't want to do. What we need to do right now, guys, and what I want to actually get figured out is... How much power do we have? We have a decent amount of power. For right now, uh, let's go ahead and put a couple more capacitors. One. Just one. I think just one. One's fine. Uh, because I need to save some money here. What I want to do is do metal detector. $1,000 for a metal detector. We want a metal detector in place, guys, of everything. So we... Let's see, hmm, how do I want to do this, guys? I think, hmm, I think I want to put a jail door right there. You know what, for right now, let's put a metal detector right here, going into our jail. Right, should we do that? That makes sense, I think. Right there. Metal detector going into our jail area. I also want a metal detector for the canteen. I actually am going to do two metal detectors, guys. So, why can I spin this around? It's so stupid. You know, actually, let's do... Instead of there, let's just do two metal detectors right here. So they can't bring anything to the cells. That's what I want. I don't want them to be able to bring any anything back from the kitchen or the cafeteria or the yard to the cells. Because that'll be bad. Uh-oh. And this isn't even closed off here. You know what? We're going to need this closed off. Let's go ahead and do that. I want to close this area off right like that. And this isn't closed off. Dang it! Okay, I'm gonna let them play it out. I want to let them build these metal detectors because then I need to delete them. And I want to move them up to right here. Alright, that sucks. I kind of wasted that, but whatever. Alright, what we need to do is put our utilities, our electric, going right into our metal detectors. One's gonna be right there, and two are gonna be right there. Okay, That's, that works out. And I think... Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so dismantle. They just built them. Dismantle. So they're going to dismantle both of those. And then objects. Metal detector. Come on, say the number one to me, please. Where's it at? Number one. There we go. Dismantled. Okay. Let's put one there. Auto saving. Whoops. Dang, auto saving. <laughs> Let's put one there and then dismantle that one. Thank you. And then one more there. Sweet. 
All right, so those should be good. That metal detector should already be working right here, I believe. Yeah, that should be working. Why is this all messed up like weird like that? That's really strange. Let's just dismantle this. Do we need it all crazy weird like that? Or we don't need that there. Let's just dismantle that one. All right, we're looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty fabulous here. Yeah? I like, I like, I like. All right, what else do we need? Oh, we can do another grant right now. Let's do one more grant. Where is it? Grants. Okay, so security, prison manufacturing. Produce 30 license plates. We're not going to do that yet because we need an, a workshop. Should we do a workshop? Man, maybe we should do one right off the bat because that'll start making us some money. We don't really have enough money to do this, though, I don't feel like. Wait, inmate. Yeah, let's do the meal one. Let's do the meal. Meal. Okay. So this one is serve a single low quantity, low variety meal for two days. Serve three high variety, uh, high quantity meals for two days. So for first time, serve a single low quantity, low variety meal for two days. We're going to do that right now. So how do we do that? Let's do, because everybody's sleeping. So we can go, oh, meal quantity. So low. We're going to do low. Whoops, not none. Meal variety is on low and meal quantity is on low um, for two days. Man, that's going to be a lot of money. Or a, or a lot of money. Not a lot of money, but uh, a lot of angry folks. Oh, and then we can, uh, we can do these here. Okay, our policies. I forgot we unlocked this. So when they find weapons, drugs, and tools and luxuries from the inmates... I don't really want them to go into solitary. I don't really care for them to go into solitary. At least let's them let's let them just go into one hour each for all those. And we can go ahead and click these. These will search the uh, prisoner. And let's see. Yeah, that'll just search the prisoner. So escaped attempts. Uh, these are all so lockdown basically the difference between lockdown and solitary if you don't know Solitary they have to go down here to the solitary confinement and spend time in the solitary confinement holding cell Lockdown they just be put in their handcuffs and they're locked down in their cell in their ex in their own cell So that's the difference lockdown is kind of like a slap on the wrist solitary is a little bit more intense you know what I mean? Um, so, huh, should we do any more searches? Yeah, escape attempt, attacked prisoners. Let's make sure that we search them for all of these, right? I think that makes sense. We can search the prisoners. Uh, if we do an escape attempt, I want to make sure that they search the cell. And attack prisoner, that's pretty bad, right? Actually, attack... Serious injury is very bad. Attack staff is very bad. Let's have them search the cell upon uh, if that happens. You know what I mean? So found weapons. Let's also do a search the cell of founding weapons. Um, that's fine for now. Okay, so we're good. We're good with that. We don't have a lot of... That means we don't have like a ton of people going to solitary for no reason. We might as well... Oh, we got... We don't have that much money right now. Let's pause. What do we have going on here? So we're going to wait for this. Um, we have to wait for this. Ten families waiting. Five prisoners showing up? We don't want five more prisoners. Do we? No. Let's make sure not. Okay. That would have been bad. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We have twenty prisoners right here. That's perfect because we have twenty cells. It says twenty-six, but that's only because we have six beds in the holding cell. I don't really want to utilize that for... I just want to utilize that for extra prisoners if we have a problem with our cells or something. So, our clone tool, guys. Our clone tool is a very special thing. It lets us actually clone anything we want um, on here, which is pretty, pretty sweet. So, what I want to do is not that. I want to grab this and start cloning this area exactly what's in the white line is exactly what's going to be cloned this is three thousand dollars to to clone this 
And I want to place this directly right. Bam. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but that is amazing. Look at that. That just made six more cells for us. Um, I basically want to do the exact same thing because it's going to be right here too. So right there is another clone job. Bam. That is awesome. All right. And I think, oh, what happened last time, guys, is I'm, I'm going to have to fix this right here, aren't I? Dang it. I totally forgot. I have to fix this right here. No, no, no. Right here. Let's do that. Okay. That needs to be fixed. Wow. We are in the hole now, guys. Look at that. We are definitely in the hole. We need to make some money here. So let's go ahead and speed up time. We have no money to do anything with anyway. So we might as well just speed up the time here. Um, wow, this is getting way overgrown out here. Where is our gardener? Oh, whatever. Where's our gardener guy? I wonder where he is. Let's check it out. So staff. There he is. He is. What the heck is he doing over here? Oh, he's cleaning up like... What? What is he doing over here? <laughs> He's just sitting there. Gardener, carrying staff key. What is he doing? Let's make him go over here. Whoops. Gardener, go over here, dude. Yeah. Clean up. What? Where's he going? Why does he like to sit over there? I don't know what the gardener's doing, guys, but everything's getting un overgrown. All right, so over here. Okay, so that just cloned all of those. Cells, I forgot. I actually have to make the walls around there. Not a big deal. Oh, we got our first exclamation point. So, our danger level is, is increasing a little bit. Eight prisoners have serious complaints. So, I think we can find out our needs now. Needs! Awesome, awesome. These are our whole need levels here. Um, critical, high, medium, satisfied, active. So, obviously, critical is hygiene. Hygiene need is pretty high up. Why? They're taking showers right now, aren't they? Is it? Yeah, it's shower time right now. So why is that need pretty high? Hmm. Are there not enough showers or something? What's going on? I don't know about the hygiene thing. Um, there might not be enough showers or something like that. If somebody's taking one. <laughs> Go take some showers, guys. Oh, it's work time. Are they in the class? Oh, some we got a teacher teaching. Is anybody in class? No. Nobody's in class. Where are they? That's work time. Go to class, guys. Let's see the programs. Wait, active. One, two, three. Yeah, they're what is this guy doing? Is this this guy? Reform program. Oh, is he doing? Oh, you know what? Are they in the freaking kitchen doing the program? Oh, that's the kitchen one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want this one. Oh, they're all in the class up there. We just can't see them. Here, let's send a guard just to check it out. Oh, people are getting searched, guys. That is awesome. Let's send this guard. Here we go, guard. You go all the way over here. Yeah, I want to see I want to see the people in the classroom. Are they in there? No. What? Come on, guard. I sent you in there. I sent you in there. You better get back in there. Go all the way over there that time. Or this time. Yeah, there they are. Guys, they're learning in the classroom. Okay, it looks like they're kind of mad. Yeah, prisoners are getting frustrated at us, guys. Oh my gosh. Ten prisoners have serious complaints. What are all these complaints? Is this still hygiene? It's still hygiene. Why is it hygiene right now? Huh. I wonder why they're complaining about the hygiene. The shower time's right here, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We can... I don't know, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and do another shower. No, they're taking... They're taking random showers. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. They're gonna go ahead and eat, and then they're gonna... Oh, 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 oh. It's happening. What do you have on you, Hornick? They need to search him. What do you have on you? Well, auto saving. Okay, uh, what do you have? Just get searched. Where are you at? Wow, we are in the hole, guys. Some money here, so 
Hopefully we get some more money. This is a dangerous thing. Why are they not searching him? Wow, he just went through the metal detector again and came up positive again. Are right, somebody gonna search him? There we go, he's getting searched. What do you have? Oh, look at that guys, they found a hammer on him. They found a hammer. No bueno, these, oh! oh. Guys, we have our first blood splatter. I have no idea what happened. This guy. Escape attempt. Destruction. Attacked staff. Found weapons. Guys. This guy needs to be taught a lesson. Oh my gosh. Look at him. He is... He has huge reputation. Strong. This prisoner hits harder with each punch during fights. Stoic, stoical and fearless. Wow not intimidated by armed guards we're gonna have to watch this guy this is not an okay guy to have in our prison he is very very bad to have in our prison guys so wow that's gonna be oh look at this our forward oh my gosh I'm so upset this fool what's his name Chafer her <laughs> Sean Sean Chafer we're gonna call him Chafer uh, all right guys, so our first actual like brutal hitting of him. Oh, he's checking the, the cell um, Anywho, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. We got some dangerous stuff going on in the prison It's kind of dangerous. No bueno uh, But if you guys enjoyed a uh, rating would be much appreciated like always and we will see you guys in the next episode Later peeps <laughs>